Welcome everyone to Learning with Rev. And in this video, we are going to be learning about the two categorical function inside of TensorFlow and Keras. You will see this in a lot of tutorials. And at a very high level, what it does is it converts a vector of integers to a vector of one hot encodings. Uh, so, one hot encoding is a way to uh, encode a label such as one, two, three, and four. Uh, to a series uh, in a binary format. Uh, so a zero would be all zeros, or actually it would be a one with three zeros after. A one would be zero, one, zero, zero, so on and so forth. And we'll see that in this tutorial here. So right here we are gonna just declare that we're gonna have 10 classes and we are gonna be loading from the MNIST data set within Keras. And we're gonna display the first image uh, and display the first label. So this is a five, and it comes in as a five. In TensorFlow, if we wanna use a categorical cross entropy, uh, we will not be able to use this label here. You might, you'll be able to use sparse categorical cross entropy, but I recommend converting this uh, at the beginning, and it will be a slightly more efficient for your algorithm. As a display here, I'm gonna show you what the first four elements of Y train are. It's five, zero, four, and one. And this will be important in just a moment when we're gonna display them and show them again. So to convert it, we can go keras.utils.toCategorical. We pass in our Y train, which is the array uh, right here, but only all of them, and our number of classes, which in our case is 10. And now that that has converted, we're gonna use matplotlib to uh, do to display four uh, elements here. Uh, our, la our class label of five. So we have our zeroth, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So our fifth element, if you're counting from zero, is a one. Our zero, our zeroth element is a zero. Uh, then we have a four, zero, one, two, three, and four. And our one, zero, one, zero, zero. So I hope you all learned something today. It's a quick review on what the two categorical function does. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave any questions in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.